Hey everyone, it's Jolt here. In this video, I want to share my latest take on Visual Zettelkasten, a concept that blends the power of slipbox note-taking with visual thinking. But before we dive in, let's quickly revisit what Zettelkasten is all about. Zettelkasten is a note-taking and knowledge organization system. It has its roots dating back to the early 20th century, pioneered by Otto von Neurath and Paul Otlet. It gained popularity through the work of academics such as Nicholas Luhmann and more recently Zönke Ahrens. Essentially, it's a system designed to structure and connect ideas, breaking complex research into a web of interconnected atomic notes. Luhmann's approach involved using library cards to capture what people in the PKM community often refer to as permanent notes. He numbered these cards based on their research topic and sequential order, then stored them in a slip box. Zettelkasten, as traditionally known, is tailored toward academic work. However, as someone not involved in academia, I've struggled with adapting to and benefiting from Zettelkasten in my daily note-taking routine. Until recently, creating a permanent note felt like an extra step in my workflow. I'd read a book, process my literature notes, add illustrations to capture key ideas, and only when I felt something was truly insightful, I'd create a permanent note in my slipbox system referencing the source and including my illustration. It was while reflecting on a comment from one of my recent videos, the Idea Mixer, that something clicked. A viewer suggested I should have named it Visual Zettelkasten. This comment sparked a revelation. Excolidron in Obsidian provides a much more natural approach to Zettelkasten compared to my previous experiments, one that aligns with my thinking process more seamlessly. In the Excolidron plugin, drawings are stored in Markdown documents. Each drawing comes with two views, the Excolidron view and the Markdown view allowing you to seamlessly merge drawings with your underlying notes. Switching between Excolidro view and Markdown view feels like utilizing both sides of a library card mirroring Lumen's approach. When I read something or take notes, I create simple visual representations of the ideas I encounter because creating these visuals help me understand the ideas better. This is the way I think. And here's the eureka moment. These atomic visuals are, in essence, already Zettelkasten notes themselves. No need to craft a separate note and attach my illustrations. All that's required is flipping the library card by switching to Markdown view mode, where I can add my Zettelkasten links and references and the illustration I created to digest a concept becomes an interconnected atomic visual permanent note in my slipbox system. Now let's delve into some examples. To test out this new approach, I converted my Zettelkasten notes about the eight thinking maps by David and Hurley. I'll walk you through my restructured notes, demonstrating some of the cool Excolidraw and new Excolibrain features along the way. But before we dive into the implementation and explanation, I'd like to mention that the Visual Thinking Workshop, Cohort 6, is just around the corner, scheduled from November 4th to December 9th. If you're eager to explore visual thinking in more depth, please accept my invitation to join me in this workshop. To help you understand what has changed in my thinking, let me first show you how I did permanent notes until now. What you see here on screen are my literature notes for deep work by Carl Newport. And you can see I have lots of highlights as well as here and there I have images to capture key ideas in my literature notes. Let's take for example, myelination. For myelination, I created this drawing 
to capture the essence of what I've read in the book that deep work helps you quickly learn hard things and there's an anatomical reason for that. And you can see here that I explain how a neuron looks like as well as I have some quotes from the book. Now I use the exact same image on my book on a page for deep work and you can see here I have my neuron right here as well as because I thought that this idea was super important I also created a permanent note about this and you can see here again I have the same image referenced about myelination plus I have some other thoughts here as well. Now if we look at this permanent note in Excoli Brain, then you will see here that my permanent note A belongs to a map of content here, but more importantly I want to bring your attention here that it links to this idea of myelination, so the permanent note itself is a separate document from my image and if I click on the image then I can see that my image links to my permanent note up here but also links to my book on a page and links to other documents. These are all the places where I reused this image including my literature notes but also some other documents as well. Now let's look at how this changes with my new approach. So now I'm going to look at the eight thinking maps as an example and this is also a permanent note so if I bring up Excolibrain again then you can see here from the icons that this is a permanent note because this icon is my permanent note icon and this is my Excolidraw icon so I know that this is a drawing that's a permanent note at the same time by the way, the newest release of Excolibrain comes with this additional feature that you can define which tag is the primary type of the document and you can also configure Excolibrain to display multiple icons, prefixes. If you have documents that have multiple types, you can include that in your drawing. But now let's look under the hood of the eight thinking maps first. So if I open the eight thinking maps I can switch to markdown view by clicking here open as markdown document and when I switch over to the markdown view you can see that on the flip side the other side of the drawing I have a similar permanent note as I had previously. First I can also show you that this is the note type, that this is a Zettelkasten permanent note and that's why this was displayed as a permanent note as well as I have my Excolidraw tag here. That's why it was also an Excolidraw document in my Excolibrain view. But you can also see that I have my entire note right here. So this is my normal permanent note. You can see my related quotes and you can see everything here up till the text elements. And this is what you need to understand. So let me just for one second open how the backside of myelination looks like. So if I come here to myelination and again, I'm going to open this as a markdown document. You can see here that I have my front matter here, so don't change this. But between the front matter and between text elements, I can write whatever I want here and Excolidraw is going to preserve that. So anything above text elements and below the front matter is open territory. That's the backside of your note card. And this is how I use it so in case of the eight thinking maps I simply moved my permanent note template to the back side of my drawing and this way my drawing is a drawing in the permanent note at the same time sort of like flipping the document or flipping the library card around. On one hand side I have the drawing that I use as my permanent note. On the other hand side I have all my 
notes and links and references that also make up my permanent note. Now, if I take a look at this in Excolibrain, then you can see here that indeed, so this is a permanent note and a drawing. And then I have all the eight thinking maps as a child of this core permanent note about the eight thinking maps. And for example, if I click on the double bubble map, then you can see here that this permanent note, the double bubble map, links directly to a number of other items uh, in my vault. And the point I want to highlight is in all of these cases, instead of linking to a separate image that links. So again, let's just for one second, come back here and switch over to my myelination example. So if I open the myelination example, then you can see here that in case of my permanent note on myelination or the idea of deep work being a crucial component for learning hard things faster. In this case, the links are not to my permanent note, but to the image. And in terms of navigation, in terms of connecting ideas, there's an additional bridge that actually in my mind hinders this connection. So just again, let's look at the Excolibrain view for the double bubble map. This is a much cleaner view and it's cleaner because I don't have a separate image that is linked in my permanent note, but my image is the permanent note. And just again, to show you how it looks like. So if I flip my library card and open the double bubble map in markdown view mode, then you can see it here that I have my normal permanent note here. Now, I want to show you two interesting features of this document. The first feature is I have this idea section here and under it, if you notice, I actually have the same drawing. And this is sort of an infinite loop because within my double bubble map Excolitro drawing, on the flip side of the card, I have a note which references this, but because this is an image, it doesn't become this infinite loop, but it will just display the image. Let me show you what I mean by an infinite loop. So here, if I would click on Untitled, and add untitled here again, then you can see that Obsidian actually stops after the fifth recursion, but you see that this is recursive. In this case, because I'm referencing an image within a markdown document, the image is processed differently by Excolidraw, and here I get the image. Why would I want to include the image here within the image, that's because I can also reference. So now if I take my double bubble map permanent note and I want to reference it in a document. So let's take this untitled. So I can simply reference it like this. I can include the image and then I have the image right here. But in the way I configured my permanent note, because I have the idea section, if now I reference the idea section as I embed it, then I get the idea section. And again, because I reference the image inside the note, I get the image here as well. In my permanent notes, I have this idea section because for me, this is the best way to reference an idea, this is the summary that I can reuse and it has all the details I want. And the beauty of all of this is I don't have a separate image and a permanent note. It's all the same file. So let me just again open Excolibrain and show you how Untitled looks like. So Untitled has a single document attached, which is the double bubble map. and there is no separate image attachment. The double bubble map is 
a permanent node and an image at the same time. Now, as a final point, let me just show you this new feature in Xcoli Brain that allows you to have multiple tags on an image and that allows you to define what's the node type. So now if I come back again to my double bubble map image right here, you will see that I have this data view tag here called node type. And whatever I place in the node type, that is going to be the primary look and feel of the image. So now if I delete this field from here and I type my primary node type to be Excolitraw, and now I switch back to Excolibrain, then you will see that the style of the node has changed because it's primarily a drawing and as a secondary, it is a permanent node. If now I switch this around and I delete Excolitraw, I don't need it here because I have Excolitraw here in my front matter. I add node type, my Zettelcast and permanent node. I come back to Excolibrain and I can see that this is a permanent node that is at the same time an Excolitraw drawing. Just to show you how to configure this in plugin settings, if I open Excolibrain settings, I can scroll down all the way to styling. And here under styling, you will find two new settings. One is you can set the name of the style tag field. So by default, it's note type. And then you can also configure whether to this play all the style tags. So if I turn this off and I come back to look at this note, then you will see that from now on, this is only a permanent note and the Excolidraw tag disappeared from here. So hopefully that gets the idea across that in this case, I have my permanent note on the backside of my drawing and it's one and the same file and by having it in one and the same file, my references to this idea are much cleaner, much easier to follow up in my world. If you're keen on exploring this idea further, I recommend checking out my video on breaking down ideas using the deconstruct script in Excolidraw. Let me conclude with a few additional thoughts on the visual thinking workshop. This workshop offers a unique opportunity to refine your summarization skills, problem solving abilities, and big picture thinking. It revolves around unlocking your brain's visual processing potential to enhance creativity and understanding. Whether you're a professional, a student, or someone looking to boost creativity, this workshop can revolutionize how you process and connect visual ideas. It encompasses online class sessions, office hours, access to valuable resources such as the demo Obsidian Vault and a supportive community. So that wraps up our discussion on Visual Zettelkasten and the upcoming Visual Thinking Workshop. Thank you for tuning in and I'm super excited to explore this visual thinking concept and journey with you. Don't forget to check the workshop details in the video description below. Thank you.